Hello and welcome to Nana's Crafty Home. My name is Tanya. Today's tutorial is going to show you how to complete the mini corner to corner crochet technique. Uh, this is the same as the regular corner to corner technique. It's just you're using a smaller stitch. So we're going to be using the half double crochet instead of the double crochet. And I'm gonna show you how we would adapt to that size. Um, if you are unfamiliar with the corner to corner technique altogether, I have a lot of tutorials that you can view on my uh, YouTube channel that will show you all the tips and tricks that you need, how to read the graphs and patterns, how to uh, do basic corner to corner, uh, as well as how to carry yarn, um, all kinds of great information out there for you. So basically this is going to be the adaptation of that corner to corner technique into the mini corner to corner. So I am not going to do a full and complete video tutorial today. This is making the assumption that you um, either know how to do the corner to corner in the crochet, uh, double crochet technique, or that you will be um, heading over to my other videos to get additional information. So basically this is just showing you how to adapt this to a smaller. Now you might ask the question, where would I need to use and why would I need to use the mini rather than just the regular double crochet? Uh, typically, you're going to find this in patterns that are wanting to give you more detail in your graph. Um, you can get more squares per inch uh, by using the mini corner to corner and so therefore you're able to get more detail into a smaller space. Um, I use this for my American flag uh, placemat and in order to get the number of stripes and all of that, uh, it would have just been extremely large if I would have tried to do that in a double crochet. So that gives you a little background and and why you might want to, to use that instead of the regular double crochet. To get started, we're gonna go ahead and get our yarn on our hook. And for our first block, we're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. If we were working a double crochet, uh, we would have chained six. So that's our first adjustment, our first adaptation for this mini corner to corner is a chain four. Then we're going to work two half double crochets into this chain. We're gonna work our first one in the third chain from the hook. And our final half double crochet will be worked in the last chain from the hook. So this is our first block made. The change from a double crochet again is we would have chained six for a double crochet and we would have worked three double crochets to make a block. So that is the change for that. Now we're going to work on our second row by chaining four again, one, two, three, and four. And we're going to work again, those two half double crochets to make a block, working the first one in that third chain from the hook and our last one in the last chain from the hook. We're going to attach this to the first block with a slip stitch made and we attach it where that turning chain is at just as we would uh, for a regular double crochet and we're going to work it into that chain two space. This is another adaptation for me. So if you've watched my video about the double crochet corner to corner technique you will see that I typically would slip stitch into the top of that turning chain three instead of the chain three space. I like it better. Uh, you can do either way, but that's my preference. For the mini corner to corner, when I'm working half double crochets, I work my slip stitch into that chain two space, not into the chain itself. So there's my uh, first block of the second row made. Now I'm going to uh, work my second block for that row by chaining two, one and two, and working two half double crochets into that same chain two space. So again, 
Uh, each block is made up of your chains plus two half double crochets to complete your block. Now we're going to increase for row three by chaining four. One, two, three, and four and working two half double crochets in it again in those final two chains. So one in that third chain and one in the fourth chain from the hook. I'm going to attach that to this block here by slip stitching into um, this chain two space chain two, work two half double crochets in that same space. If you are making the American flag, uh, this is where I would go ahead and change colors to white by dropping my red and bringing in my white color with my slip stitch. And again, you can watch my videos about tips and tricks for changing colors and carrying yarn and all of that. But we're gonna chain two and then work two half double crochets in that same space. We're going to increase again by chaining four, one, two, three, and four, working a half double crochet in that third chain from the hook and the fourth chain as well. And then slip stitch into the top of that chain two. So really, that's all there is to it. Uh, if you're familiar with double crochet, this is going to be an easy adjustment for you. If you need more details about working the crochet corner to corner technique, I have photo and video tutorials uh, for all of those steps, which will help you uh, learn the corner to corner technique. Uh, this is a great technique uh, to be able to do graphs and make really intricate pictures with crochet. Uh, so I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial today. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified whenever I post a new video. You can follow me on social media platforms, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram. I share a lot of uh, crochet inspiration daily, primarily on Facebook. Uh, but you'll see a lot of works in progress of my personal designs on Instagram. I love to hear from you. You can reach out to me uh, in any of those platforms as well as reaching me on uh, my email, which is nanascraftyhome at gmail.com. And you can find all of my free patterns at nanascraftyhome.com. Thanks again for being with me today. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.